In other news tonight, in the push to vaccinate against the coronavirus, a surprising fact from the Missouri State Fair, which offered COVID vaccines. Our Missouri Capitol Bureau Chief Emily Manley is live for us tonight. Emily, less than 1% of fair growers rolled up their sleeves. That's right, Mike. After last year, the fair took a different route, and this year it was back to normal. There was a carnival and there were concerts, but fairgoers could also find COVID tests and vaccines here on the fairgrounds. But not many people took advantage of getting the shot. Because we really did not know uh, how people were going to take the idea of getting vaccinated at the fair. Things are quiet again at the state fairgrounds after a record setting year. Gosh, our carnival set an all time record in, in ride gross sales. Not only did they beat it, but they blew it away. And the first time we've ever been over a million in ride gross here in Missouri. Fair director Mark Wolf says final attendance numbers are still being counted, but expects it to be in the ballpark of 335,000. Everybody thought, you know, we're going to have a a record setting crowd and then the COVID thing kind of came back. You know, you start to hear more and more about that. I, I'm sure that affected the final outcome. Something new at the 11 day fair this year, vaccines. We gave a total of 53 vaccines at the state fair and uh, obviously we would have liked to have given many, many more. Joanne Martin is the administrator of the Pettis County Health Center. She says the health center was requested by the State Fair Commission to offer COVID vaccines. An individual who came in and said, Oh, I'm so glad to see you because I'm scheduled to get my second dose today. It's three hours for me to drive home. Pettis County reported 740 cases in August, a number the county hasn't seen since December. It's really hard to figure out exactly if we've had a big increase of, of cases related to the fair. She says another county reported a cluster of cases from a group of people at the fair. Unless people are asking that very specific question, were you at the Missouri State Fair? It's difficult to get that information collected. That was new at the fair this year, these hand sanitizing stations. You can find them outside of practically every building and every barn. Wolf says that they will make a comeback next year and more years in the future because there was such a great response from fairgoers. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Sedalia, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.